Welcome to the TACO instructional video, Revit Mechanical System Design Basics. The purpose of this lesson is to give you basic techniques for creating a mechanical system design like this one in Revit. Before you begin a system model in Revit, you must have selected and sized the system components. The most efficient tool to do this is the TACO Hydronic System Solutions software. The first step is to place the primary system equipment into the model. Use standard RFA file insertion techniques to do this. The first component is a chiller. Next, we'll move on to a cooling tower. Placing it here, click spacebar to rotate. And finally, we'll insert a heat exchanger. Now place the secondary system equipment. We'll start with an expansion tank. And place it here. Now we'll insert the pumps following a similar process. The specified types menu will appear. Sort by items such as horsepower, motor speed, and various others. We need a 20 horsepower at 1160 RPM. Hit mechanical equipment. Place it here. Now we'll insert the rest of the pumps into the project. Choose the desired insertion point. Since we require two identical models, click twice. We'll start by drawing the piping off of the cooling tower. Right click on the end of the pipe and select draw pipe. We need to come straight up the side of the building and enter at 9 feet. So adjust the offset to 9 feet. Then run the pipe directly over the top of the pumps. Go to 3D view to see the result. Return to the plan view. The 8 inch pipe coming off the cooling tower needs to plug into the pump that's on the left. Click the control on the end of the pipe and drag the pipe between the pumps. Right click on the pump and select draw pipe. Then click the end of the pipe to attach them. Go to 3D view to see the result. Now create a section view. Right click on the section line and select go to view to see the section. Choose find view. We find the expansion tank sitting below the floor. Use the alignment tool. Click level 1 then click the bottom of the tank. We've added more pipe to the system and need a pipe diameter change in this section. Use the split tool to split the pipe. Drag the section back, delete the remaining piece. Hold control and select multiple fittings and pipes. Then change them all to 8 inches. Now drag the 8 inch pipe to the 6 inch pipe. The reducer is added automatically. You can add a new pump to an existing pipe. Choose the desired pump and click on the center of the pipe. The pump breaks into the pipe automatically. Choose 3D view to see the result. You can easily rotate around a certain item by clicking on the item. Hold shift and press down the middle mouse roller. Then move the mouse to rotate. Change views by changing from shading to wireframe or hidden line. Or change from fine view to coarse which will have 2D line work. Autodesk Seek requires that all file families have 2D line work to speed up the model, and Taco Revit files have this feature. To add tag assignments, right click on the element and select Element Properties. Go to the Mark parameter and type in the tag name. Hit Tag and then click on the element to tag it. To create a pump schedule, choose View, New, Schedule Quantities. Select Mechanical Equipment. Then choose the items needed in your schedule, such as tag, manufacturer, model, RPM, and so on. Here is the final result. This concludes the lesson Revit Mechanical System Design Basics.